that feeling when we feel i'm not quite feeling myself we're missing connection connection to self is one of the most important if not the most important information the most important connection that you will ever make which is connection to yourself connection to self you have a spiritual awakening you have a kundalini awakening whatever you are having that is expanding your consciousness that's you getting to know yourself you getting into your authentic version you empowering yourself you walking to the power of you you finding out who why you are not even who you are because the finding out of who you are is going to come up with all sorts of things maybe things that you've heard maybe things that have been written maybe things that you've picked up but we in essence we're really nothing because everything that we can imagine as us being is something that has been imagined it's something that isn't tangible it's not something that can be imagined or can be experienced in this 3D reality in form no this is something that we just are and beyond we just are there is absolutely nothing else so when you're going about your day whether it's you feeling tired whether it's you feeling diseased whether it's you feeling lost whether it's you feeling depressed lonely having a spiritual awakening but lost for purpose not knowing what next not knowing how to leave a mark get your foot in through the door find a job maybe just be and just live your life maybe you want to pack up and leave and maybe live off grid maybe in a homestead maybe you want to go and do things that aren't even things that you would have imagined but you just simply want to get out right maybe there are so many things folks but here's the magic when you truly well and truly are anchored in yourself and you're fully fully connected then you could be anywhere you could be doing anything but that connection as long as it's there now this is the prime reason or at least one of the reasons why when we don't feel quite ourselves is because the connection to self has been dropped when we are going about doing things and there's just so much doing there's so much activity you're moving from one thing to another one thing to another and maybe you're meeting up friends maybe you're going to some yoga class maybe a workshop maybe some meditation you know maybe spending time with your family your friends just there's just, just loads of things and you feel like you know there's always something or the other now in all of this we never really feel that loss that feeling of wait there's a hole there's a void you know and it's not about you suddenly connecting to a god outside of you or you know finding purpose or finding community or belonging somewhere it's literally that connection to self you feeling and that's where that connection to self is where you're now the human being you are in that mode of being i am being now when you are just being and you just am there is no you you're not putting a story you're not putting a purpose you're not putting a thing to do you're not even putting a belief system so there is nothing it's literally a big shunya right a big zero a big void of nothingness now we avoid that void because by facing that void we realize the death of the ego we realize the death of the personality we realize that oh dear we don't even matter right all that we have built upon who we really are amounts to nothing because at the end and that's where if you heard that phrase or that i believe i think it was a poem ashes to ashes or it's a verse sorry not a poem it's a verse ashes to ashes so you go back into that so we come from ashes we go back into ashes it's a carbon cycle the cycle of life is the carbon cycle so you're going from nothing you then gather all the dust you gather all these elements and then you form this vehicle that you're going to sit in it could be any vehicle that you've decided you want to experience your manifest reality in but at the beginning you have that connection to self well, hang on it's just me fitting myself in these different roles in these different things 
that connection to self is so vital because it is what is going to give you that joy it's going to give you that peace it's going to give you that feeling of i'm relaxed you're not running a mock you're not sort of going from here to there finding purpose finding right and you don't have to be right you don't have to be wrong there is no duality in this place folks it is just as it is so we're going to be doing a long segment on connection i just wanted to introduce this topic of being connected to yourself and this is where folks you'll find you're seeking love outside we want to feel connected in our relationship you see a friend some time ago many actually a few years ago commented i said to this friend i said look you know i really miss spending time with my little one i just feel like i haven't spent any time and this person looked at me and said what but you know you're with him all the time you're always with your little one you're always together i said well yes you can still be sharing the same space and you're always together but you're not really together because there's no presence there's no connection the connection is dropping and the connection drops for all sorts of reasons so i could be busy with my mom chores i could be in the kitchen i could be cooking i could be cleaning you know i could be maybe stressed about certain things or whatever it is so that connection right that connection with is at full presence and babies feel it they feel it because they know connection they feel it and that's when they whine that's when they come up with all sorts of tantrums they'll find all sorts of ways of getting your attention because the connection has dropped now as long as that connection is secure the baby then grows into a child into an adult and you have a secure connection you have a secure relationship with yourself and that connection to self never drops and therefore you will never externalize connectivity you will never externalize attachment you will never externalize love and this is where it then branches into validation approval judgment rejection and all of those things right it is that connection to self so when you go through your spiritual awakening one of the things that ultimately you're going to be doing is that you're connected to yourself and that's why folks nothing will matter so much on the outside you know whether it's how people are whether how others are or you know what life is meant to be how life is supposed to be etched out are we supposed to be buying a house or not buying a house should we have this job should we not have i mean by the time you have a spiritual awakening those things pretty much go out of the window anyway because all the definitions are out it doesn't matter and you can see you can just see you know there is nothing um all of these things hierarchy whether it is what work are you doing what you know those those things are so so irrelevant right that connection to yourself is so so important and i keep saying that folks connection to self is vital and a lot of the times when you will feel lost and you think you know i feel like something is missing i feel like something is missing like something isn't quite right you know something doesn't feel like you've just dropped your connection to yourself when you drop that connection to yourself and that's when that stillness is required that's when you need to go back into your own self lots and lots of love i'll catch you guys later